Hello everyone, it's Aiden here. In this video I just wanted to talk about Buffer. Um, I've mentioned Buffer in a lot of videos before, so I just wanted to do a video specifically on Buffer because um, it is the best Twitter client um, out there. And I'd highly recommend it, um, upgrade into the awesome plan as well. Um, it is definitely worth it. You can put unlimited tweets and updates for your Facebook, LinkedIn, and you can put a few more uh, profiles as well. And you can put in more than 10 uh, tweets, for example, on your Twitter feed. Um, so basically, Buffer will share posts for you when you put them into bu into your Buffer. Um, you'll put them in the queue, and then they'll um, schedule for certain times. So you see here tomorrow, I've got one at twenty past ten, and I've got another one at five to four, and then I post at the same times each day, every day. But you can adjust that on your scheduling, um, what when you want to post. Um, go to Twiriad dot com, uh, log in, uh, sign up with your Twitter, and then it will fight. It will um, it will give you the the best times to tweet. Um, so that's going by your um, your followers when they're most active on Twitter. So it's best to do that, and then you can find the uh, the best times to tweet. Um, so there's a few new features which are pretty cool. Um, what you can do uh, is to drag. See, I've got 17 tweets in my Twitter feed. What you can do now, you can drag one and you can copy it to a different account. So that's one of the uh, new features. You can also, um, when you scroll over, you can say move to top. Um, this is one of the things that I suggested to them. Um, I'm sure plenty of other people did suggest it to them as well. But when you've got an important tweet or update you wanted to move to the top, you can just press that and it will move it to the top. Um, so that's another cool feature. Um, you can see here where the tweets are coming from. Um, and I'll show you in my uh, in the Facebook as well. You can see here via Feedler, um, which is a brilliant uh, iPhone app. And you have to upgrade to the Pro version of that one to be able to share uh, to your RSS feed to um, Buffer. But you can just press a button and it's, it's straight to Buffer. Um, you can also shuffle these while I'm here. You can shuffle your, all of your um, tweets. So if you wanted to blast out a load of quotes and then blast out a load of um, links and then you could shuffle it so it all mixes up for you or photos or questions. Um, I think um, with Buffer, it's, it's brilliant, but it's only a fraction of what you should be doing with social media. You should be engaging, you should be interacting, you should be networking on social media, not just blasting out a load of um, uh, links and uh, tweets and updates. So, um, so yeah, feed, get Feedler if you've got an iPhone. Highly recommend it. So then you can share what you're uh, reading. Um, you can see if this and that is what I'm sharing a lot of my tweets. I'll show you briefly. Um, this is if this and that. It's if t t t dot com. Sign up's completely free, and you make a recipe. You have a action, and say for example on this one, the action is a new feed item on uh, I think it's uh, killerstartups.com on the blog, and then it automatically creates a post on my WordPress blog, uh, which this one is the startbusiness.co.uk blog. Um, so that is one post, so it automatically sends that post to there. Um, and then, also, this is a completely separate recipe on if this and that. Um, any new post on startbusiness.co.uk automatically adds to Buffer. So that is why these ones here, it's automatically added from um, a feed, um, which is very, very useful. Um, but then, obviously, because it, it starts filling up a bit, I need to come in and delete a few. So, for this one, exam for example, on sports, and delete that one, because um, it's not relevant to my target market or my followers. Um, <clears throat> it's also useful to look at your analytics. Um, for me, exam for example, um, I'm getting quite a lot of clicks from LinkedIn, yet a lot of people say LinkedIn is, um, you don't get as many as Facebook. Um, so maybe I'm doing LinkedIn better than Facebook and maybe um, I need to have a look at that. But it's quite useful to see. You can actually see the people who are liking 
your links, um, but you can't see who's clicked on them, I'm afraid. Um, so, no, yeah, that was if this and that. So, sign up, create a recipe, and it, it will give you loads of um, different. So, you cr create the, this, and then you've got all of these um, programs to use. Um, you can create something, for example, or you can see, see if something, if someone mentioned something on Craigslist that you wanted, then it would automatically email, email you, for example, uh, or Gmail, or put it in your calendar, or post it on LinkedIn. Um, there's loads to do. Um, if you favor a video on YouTube, for example, then it will automatically do something else for you, but you wanted. Um, here's some example recipes um, so archive your Facebook status updates on Evernote so if you update a status on Facebook new status message by you then it will create a note on Evernote um, there's also with buffer I mean so buffer um, Dropbox so um, on Instagram a new photo by you it will automatically go to Dropbox and you can do it the other way around or whatever it's very useful for Dropbox too um, so here's another fa uh, photo on Facebook will automatically to add to Dropbox um, it's endless amount it's, it's an amazing um, program um, software to use um, so that was that um, have a look at the bufferapp.com uh, the blog um, you can see these guys there yeah, they're brilliant they've also met, um, they're the de developers of um, dig dig which this is which is this plug in here and they've got the the buffer on there and then you can just add to buffer straight away from there you can also in this post you can see their their new um, highlight text on the page to um, share it on buffer so you highlight it I'm using Google Chrome I use the buffer extension up here I just click on that and it automatically puts in the text that I've highlighted, highlighted and then it's put in the link which is uh, trackable because it's the uh, shortened link that Buffer do um, and then add to Buffer instantly also the image, the image there, I could right click Buffer this image and then it will um, Buffer that image as well um, also on this uh, post they did have a look at it, I mean there's, there's so many updates these guys are doing um, there's keyboard shortcuts, and that's the Twiri I was talking about. Um, there was something else I was going to show you. That's the copy in the updates. Yeah, I use um, um, Twiri, like I said. Oh, there's a Fiedler. Um, and Tweetcaster is a brilliant iPhone app I use to. Uh, retweet something and I can put it um, here it is uh, Tweetcaster buffer your retweets from twitter.com or Tweetcaster and automatically put them on um, you can shuffle your updates and that's it for there so also when you've linked your Twitter account to your buffer account just another thing you can do is um, here's someone who works for buffer in London and if I wanted to share one of their posts then I can just click on here and it will share it from Twitter so that's one way and also if I wanted to share this picture on Facebook there's also another buffer button there so it would just add it to the list and that's about it for now I mean get involved with buffer it's brilliant um, I highly recommend the awesome plan as I said um, if you've got any questions let me know and uh, let me know your favorite Twitter tools. Um, is it Hootsuite? Is it uh, TweetDeck? Um, or is it Buffer? Okay, cheers. Have a nice day. Bye.